What is going on guys, it's Tim here, welcome back to Football Manager, a game that is so much more fun than anything I'm doing right now. I, I All I do is think, I literally went to bed last night thinking, hmm, if I sold this guy and got this guy and then offered this guy and maybe offered him plus him plus cash, maybe I could get, and I, I was just doing that for hours after, stop, after I stopped playing it, and you just don't do that with other games, uh, to my knowledge anyway, or in my experience. So in today's episode, and I apologise for no episode yesterday by the way, uh, reason being was because I spent three hours uh, on, on the transfer window and progressed three days. I literally spent an hour a day in game. Uh, managed to rush through a little bit of it yesterday. I think I've done my business, although not quite. There are six days left of the window, and we do have a small issue, which I'll get to in a minute. If you do want to enjoy today's episode, do me a favor and hit that like button. All the likes are very much appreciated. We've smashed two of the last two-day targets. I'm not going to set you a target today. You set your own target. Go on, hit whatever like you want to hit, and we'll see uh, what happens in the next episode. Now, for today... We have a community shield against uh, Manchester City, and I may very well play the first game of the season against Norwich. It's likely to be a action-packed episode, uh, or a long episode, I should say, because we do have some transfers and stuff to talk about. Man City and the community shield for us finishing second in the league, of course. Man City are favourites. We have strengthened. Let's go look at that right now. So, let's go to transfer history. As you can see, on the left, if I move out of the way, 49, 49, 49.5 million. We've spent nearly 50 million pounds in this window. Uh, we've managed to secure the, um, the names of four players, one of which was at the club last season on loan. We had a uh, future uh, purchase agreement with Malaga for Ivan Rodriguez, the right back, of course. Uh, the only reason I wanted him was just cover for Bauer. Bauer is still our main right back. On the right-hand side, you'll see that uh, no one has left the club for a transfer fee. A lot of the players have gone out on loan. Uh, so, Mark Waddington, you don't know who he is. He's gone to Fylde. We've got Morgan Gibbs-White. Remember we bought him for, was it $5 million at the very beginning of the of the game almost? Yeah, went out and got him from Wolves for $5 million after he requested to be transferred. He was worth so much money. Um, when we bought him, he was worth nearly 10, 15 million, and Wolves would have probably wanted somewhere in the region of 25 to, to take him off their hands. But he handed in a transfer request after we declared interest, and that's what uh, got us the player in the first place. But he, he was an integral part in us getting promoted. He was fantastic. He barely played since we've changed this. He's barely played rather since we've changed the system. Alex Hunter's gone out on loan, our central midfield player, of course, just to. Um, just to get in some game time, because I can see him playing in the future, just not right now. He's still very young. He's only 20 years of age. He's dropped down in value to only 650000 We only bought him for 500000 from Sheffield Wednesday. But um, we've, he's gone out on loan to Sunderland. We've got a nice fee for him as well, to be fair. Same with Gibbs. Why, actually? We're going to get 275000 just for one season. Um, Balde and Kanurich, I don't even know who they are, so you're not going to know. Sam Klukas has gone to Cardiff on loan. Steven Gerrard, the manager of Cardiff, by the way, kind of swayed me a little bit to let him go. He just doesn't play at the moment. We've signed some new players, and um, just makes sense. Verlinden's going to have another season out on loan. I think after that season, he'll come back and we'll assess the situation. Is he good enough for the first team, or will we need to sell him on? Uh, Harry Suter from the under-23s. Uh, I mean, he's not bad. I just, I'm not convinced he'll ever be good enough to be in our starting eleven. But he's gone on another season loan to Ipswich. We'll see how he comes back. And Eon Thomas, a player that we bought very early on in Football Manager. Um, we got him right at the beginning in the Championship. £500 from TNS. He's up, been on loan at Oldham, played 13 times last year. He's now gone on loan to Mansfield. A league above now in League One because he's a little bit better. He's still only 17, though. So I think he may have another couple of seasons out on loan. And, we'll, again, we'll assess him. Now, players we've bought. Let's get into the interesting stuff. Jeremy Gellin. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's probably Gillin or Gellon or something. But uh, we're going to call him Gellin because that's just the way I read it. He cost me $8.5 million from Stade René. And he could play in the uh, Segunda Valanta role. Not particularly well, actually. No, very, very poorly. Why did I buy him again? Uh, I'm actually, I think he actually plays, yeah, he plays centre-back. 
It, I don't know why it keeps telling me to do that. So he got him in as a centre-back. That was it. Now, the reasons why I've got some of these players, in fact, the majority of them, is that they had very good seasons for their original club. So when he played for Rene, he only played 20 times last season. And it does say he's only made a six, but he played a 6.66. However... He made, I think, the most tackles within those 20 games. He had the highest tackle percentage or something. So that was one of the reasons why we wanted to do that. Of course, last year I did that, and it worked out quite well, quite well with Capuano, our centre-back. He is um, He's now going to accompany Capuano in that centre-back role. You know about Ivan Rodriguez. He played for us last year, very capable uh, right back. He's Like I said, he's going to be a backup to Bauer. He's happy to be that as well. He's not great, but he's not terrible. I'm happy with him, no complaints. Next two players are, I would say, the big step up, really. Let's go for Baba Rahman first, because this is a bit of a... It was a position we didn't really need to improve, but I've done it anyway. This was a big purchase. This is probably the best player we've signed this summer. Uh, Baba Rahman is a left-back. He is absolutely incredible compared to our current left-backs. He's valued at £26 million, and he's cost me £20 million. And we bought him from Leon, who only just bought him from... Chelsea, um, ironically. So he didn't play... Did he play any games? He played for 15 games back in 2015 in the Premier League. I've never even heard of him. Oh, is it? Is it just Baba? I, I know who Baba is. Maybe it is Baba. I don't know. Uh, would make sense, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, he's come to us. Ben Davis, of course, is our current left back. I've tried to sell Ben Davis, but he's not happy about it. He wants to fight for his first team place. So... With that in mind, uh, and given the fact that we are going into the Champions League this year, we have an insanely good left back. And then, of course, we have Ben Davis to come in for him as well. So nice cover there in left back. And then, of course, Thiago Maia, a, an extremely good anchor man. This guy is going to be our new defensive midfielder. And again, he last season for Lyon, um, so was it not Lyon, Lille had, I think, made the most interceptions and made the most key passes and things like that. So I, I literally moneyballed it again. We went in and had a look at all the stats, and um, those were the players that I came up with. The team for the upcoming Community Shield looks like this. The, the reason Adam Ida, by the way, is up front, we have problems. Pedro. Oh, Pedro. There is a bid. From Napoli for 40 million. It's not something I or oh, I can't turn that down. No, he wants to go. He is on the transfer list by request, as you can see over here. Well, maybe you can't. Um, he's been transfer listed by request. He's unhappy at the club. I basically I blocked a move to Barcelona. I was like, nah, you're not having him. He's our top goal scorer, as you can see last year. 20 goals in 34 games, five assists, playing out of his skin. I mean. Given the, the uh, improvements we've made to this team, theoretically at least, we could be challenging for the title. However, he wants to go to Barcelona. I turned that move down because they didn't offer anywhere near enough money. He got upset about it and I've just tried to get the best deal I can. So 40 million up front, no add-ons, nothing from Napoli is the best deal I could get. And that may or may not be happening. That's why he's down there. He's not fit anyway. And that's why he won't be playing in the Community Shield. Uh, but uh, the rest of the team looks like this. I need to rest Abdullah Torre, even though he's the best player arguably in the team. Um, of course, we've got Woodburn on loan for yet another season. Uh, I thought it might make sense to bring him in. Ryan Woods is back from loan as well. He's now in the reserves. He he wanted to play as well. Like He wanted to stay at the club. Let's get into the game. Uh, he wanted to stay at the club. He didn't want to leave. Interestingly enough, we know that Adam Ida, who I'm probably saying pronounces his name wrong, we know he's been out on loan all season at Nottingham Forest. So we know that he's been getting regular football. He finished one, of, not one of the highest goal scorers, but one of the. Um, I, I checked. It was like he's got the highest, con one of the highest conversion rates in the league. Uh, if I swear to God, if Bauer gets sent off in the first 15 seconds of this game, I don't expect to win this game. By any uh, stretch of the imagination. They've spent £150 million on Dybala, by the way. Which is not... I mean, that's not change, is it? That's a lot of money. They have Tierney as well at left-back, which is interesting. I wonder how good he is. Um, Titi plays the ball to Tierney right now. Plays a killer ball into the penalty area. Baba clears it straight to Raheem Sterling, who's just missed the target. That is terrible defending from Baba. 
This is uh, the first game. Oh, Bojan's just gone down injured. I might be able to get away with it for a little bit. Etebo is ready and waiting to come on. Etebo is actually a better player than Bojan. The, the reason I'm still playing Bojan is because A, he's on the thumbnail and I feel bad for not playing him. What a save from Jack Butland. I mean, it's been turned in and disallowed by Leroy Sane, but it was a great save from Jack Butland and that's why he's been under offer by many teams this um, this transfer window. I mean, uh, is it? But yeah, Burnley won't leave him alone. They keep coming in for you know twenty million here, twenty five million there, and I've just got it on auto reject now because I just don't want to have to deal with it. I may very well change this because there's not an awful lot happening. We haven't created hardly anything, so I think we may go into our slightly more attacking formation. I think that makes sense at half time. I mean, it would be a it would be nice to get a, a bit of silverware. Uh, even if it is a community shield, I think it would be really, really nice to be able to get that. Um, the issue I've got here is that I'm going to have to take off. Oh, if I do this, yeah. Th the problem I've got is that a lot of these players were bought for the Volanta system, not for a sort of central midfield system. I don't even know if I have anyone who can come on and play as a central midfield player. I may have to go back. To Let's go back to the other uh, system. I can't. I can't switch in game. That's a problem. I didn't even think of that. Um, okay, well, we're going to have to take uh, Bojan off. That's that's a given. I think Etebo will come on for him. He's quite natural in that. Well, not natural, but he's good in that position anyway. And... Do we bring on Etebo? Do I? I mean, Berardi's better over... No, he's not. He used to be. He's not anymore. Keeps telling me that Berardi's natural position is the left side, and you play him over there, and he's exactly the same as if he's right side. Well, anyway, let's just go into the second half. I, I used to switch at half time in certain games to the more attacking system, but as it turns out, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that this year because of the midfielders that I've brought in. They're just not sort of suited to switching, which is a problem. We used to have, I think, uh, Garcia. We still have Garcia, and there's the goal. And finally, we are behind. Now I'm going to have to change the system regardless because I, it's, we just don't create enough in this position. Um, yeah, Garcia last season. I think I'll leave it like that and I'll take off Maya or I'll do that and take off um, Dorado. Do I take? Yes, take off Dorado. Let's get uh, Alex Garcia. He used to play in the midfield last year and he can play as an attacking or he can play as a central midfield. So that it worked last year because of that. Uh, Adam Ida in a false nine isn't... Yeah, look at Berardi. As an inverted winger, works much better. So this might... I don't know. This system might work. Um, how do they work together? Yeah, I think it's better if I do... Yeah, it's better if I do that. Uh, we don't really have anyone on the bench I can bring on. We did have Marriott, but apparently he's not part of the subs. Probably should have thought that through before I did this. Leo Stulak could maybe come on for Duncan. Yeah, not really a suited player. Might need to go into the market and get myself a central midfield player ready for these sort of situations because at the moment, I don't think... Yeah, let's just confirm that. At the moment, I don't really think we're, we're sort of... I don't know, we're, we're, not, we're not set up properly. We don't have enough cover in certain positions, especially for this system. And we use this system a lot against teams who are lesser than we are, you know? Uh, we've conceded again. I think it's Tierney on the score sheet. Two nil. We need to. We just need to wake up a bit here, really. Uh, let's just show some passion. I mean, Man City have a much better team than we do. We know that. The problem we're going to have this season is that um, we. I don't think we're going to have Pedro, so we we won't have our goals. I mean, if I get forty million for him from Napoli. We can go out and get a striker. I've got one in mind as well, and I'll show you who that is in just a second. You'll know him, especially if you play FIFA. Ball played through here to Dybala. Well, at least we're keeping the uh, the new signing out. 153, I think it was, million pounds from Juventus, and he can't get on the score sheet. So, I mean, that's something. Although he has been instrumental, and we've blocked it, and away we come. But uh, it's a shame that we've not managed to beat or even compete today, really. We've just not been there. We're not good enough at the end of the day. Try and tell them to get creative. Oh, that's inspired everybody. Berardi is injured. That means a sub is going to have to be made. I don't want to have to rule people out for the season or anything. Uh, Ryan Kent's not happy. Abdullah Torre not really happy. Uh, 
Yeah, I think he's probably better as an attacking. Yeah, he's better as an as an attacking inverted winger. And there we go. That's our final sub, and it's not going to change a damn thing. Two nil down. If I seem a bit subdued, by the way, it's because it is so hot in this room, I'm struggling to breathe. I've also just been playing three hours of FIFA, which will be enough to make any sane person a little bit crazy. Babber on the left, plays a good ball in, Torre with a header, it's poor from the goalkeeper, and Garcia, the former Manchester City player, has come on from the subs bench and scored, and given us what could potentially be a little bit of hope in the final five minutes. Can we get a highlight, please, EA? No, we've gone way past stoppage time. They have a corner. Well, we've scored. We've made it 2-1. Oh, wow. Meyer has flung himself in there. What a challenge that is. He won the ball as well, but that's going to signal the end of the game. Well, we didn't win, which, to be fair, I didn't expect to. Uh, but we showed a little sign toward the end then that we're not going to be pushovers and we are still going to fight even if we we haven't been in the game. I'm pretty sure the Community Shield is a shield and not a cup as he is holding just there. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah. Anyway, we weren't favourites to win. I wasn't expecting us to win. I'm not that concerned. I want to show you the player that we may very well be signing though should... Um, Pedro leave so Berardi was injured for one or two days same with Bojan that's fine and let's go to transfers and in okay maybe not I, oh actually no I've not made an offer that's it I've not made an offer I've just inquired because I don't know what's happening about Pedro yet I'll show you that when we get there there are four hours left on deadline day and Pedro is still subject to a transfer. Is he going to leave? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I'm literally waiting for them to, to tie up his contract. I've had to make a move though. I can't leave it any longer. Mariano of CSKA is the player that we're going to bring in to seemingly replace Pedro. Now if Pedro stays and the Napoli deal falls through, we can still afford this. But it means we're going to have two key players in the same position with Marriott and Adam Ida as backup and Ben Woodburn who can play in that position as well so we're going to be overloaded for strikers but I'd rather be overloaded than not have enough now Mariano is currently valued at around 17 million although the estimated cost to prime away from CSKA is going to be between 20 and 25 million his wage is somewhat astronomical as well but if we look at the history uh, didn't really break into the first team at uh, Real Madrid, only played eight games, moved to Celta Vigo, did quite well there, five goals in nine games, obviously a very strong league as well, so he obviously can play at the top, top game. Then moved to what I would class as a Mickey Mouse league, no disrespect, but 16 goals in 18 games, regardless of your level, is still very impressive with three assists. He was all but ready to start another season in Russia, but I've decided to swoop in. Now, don't be alarmed by the figure that I'm going to be put forward here because we won't be giving them anywhere near this amount of money. This is just all... It's what I would call phantom figures. It's just... It's an inflated price that we'll never end up paying, but it looks good on paper. And that price is £28.5 Now, as I say, that's a phantom figure. It's inflated. It will never be that amount, and I'll show you why. So... Um, installments, 13 million of installments. We will pay that as a football club, but it won't come out of the transfer budget. It comes out of the club. So the chairman has to worry about that. Now, I do have one eye on it. We can afford it. It's not a problem. But that's a brilliant way, really, if you're trying to sort of sign people without using your transfer budget. If you don't mind putting the club into a little bit of uh, financial difficulty, then that's great. The other brilliant stat of this really or the uh, fee the additional fee is the 50 percent the percentage of profit for next sale i put that at 50 percent now we would have to sell him for 28 and a half million to even break even on paper right now i've told cska if we sell him for 30 million we'll give you half of what the profit is so one and a half million will give you half of that effectively we're not going to sell him for 20 and a half million. He's 27. If he's with us for two or three seasons, he goes down in value. Even if he's the best player in the world at that point, there's no way he's going to go up anything past that. And even if it does, hey, we've made money anyway, because the next fee is 7.5 million if we win the Champions League in the next two seasons or three seasons. That ain't happening. We're not that good. We're not going to be that good. We're going to need at least another... 
I'm going to focus on the league anyway the next two or three seasons because the league for me is more important than the Champions League and that's going to be the competition that I really want to win. But I mean, if we do end up winning it, we'll get far more back in money for winning the Champions League than 7.5 and it's not the end of the world, but it's so unlikely to happen. And of course, there is an upfront fee um, and I can't quite find it. How much? Was it like 8 million or something we're going to pay upfront? Um, oh, they're going to deduct 12.25 from the from the transfer budget of 23 million. I think we're paying 8 million up front. They deduct an extra sort of 4 or 5 million for the installments. The rest of it won't come from the transfer budget. It'll come from the uh, the overall balance of the team uh, of the of the club. We're going to be paying him 130,000 a week, which is probably the highest paid player. Fortunately, we don't have anyone who is going to match that i don't know why i did that because that's not a thing uh we don't have anyone with a clause that matches the highest earner that's what i was trying to say that was so pointless four hours and 45 minutes to go will pedro leave the club because if he doesn't then we have two top top strikers however if he does leave the club i'm gonna have nearly no time at all to use the money so we'll have to wait and see there are two hours and 30 minutes left of the transfer window. And Pedro is still here. And I genuinely don't know what's happening. I'm, I'm literally waiting for Napoli to confirm that they've agreed a contract with him. Because at the moment, I, my understanding at least is that um, if in two hours that deal isn't done... It ain't going to be done. Although, is it because they've agreed? we've agreed a deal in principle that they give an extra time to, to secure the contract? I don't know. The issue with it is that deadline day has now passed. It was 143, not 53 for Dybala. Uh, Chilwell has gone to Arsenal. Asensio, who in real life, of course, is injured. He's just gone to Chelsea. Man City has spent 185 million in this window. They obviously want to try and uh, widen the gap on second place. And I don't think Pedro has gone anywhere. You managed to bring in Mariano on deadline day. Were you ever tempted to get one or two more? I was. But it kind of relied on Pedro going. And he didn't. And I don't know what's happening in that deal. Maybe he still will go. It's a good thing I didn't wait. Because if I'd waited even longer... I would not have been able to get Mariano in. So I'm actually really happy I've done that. The team to face newly promoted Norwich uh, looks a little bit like this. We're going to go into our attacking formation. Mariano makes his debut, although in an unconvincing false nine role. Uh, I've, I've toyed with changing this to, you know, the likes of Poacher or pressing complete forward, advance forward, etc. It's just not viable because the system doesn't work because I need a false nine. And it's just the way that it is. Uh, Garcia comes in for, uh, where is it? Thiago Maia, who made that great challenge at the end of the Community Shield. Everyone's relatively fit. Bojan, not quite as much, actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Ryan Kent instead of Bojan. And uh, that should do it. Let's get into the game. Um, we will switch, if we need to, uh, into a different formation. We'll be able to get more midfielders in there. And, of course, Mariana will play in the position that he actually wants to play in. I'm, I've got him on a double intensity training for that position. So, hopefully, he should learn it quite uh, quite quickly. Manchester City, as you can see, are bottom or toward the bottom of the league. They've lost on the opening day to Arsenal, two goals to one. Arsenal look like a very good team. They've strengthened in the window. And, of course... They've just beaten the champions two goals to one. So Manchester City already have lost a game. Here comes Dorado, our club captain, Garcia. Well, he's having a season already, isn't he? Because he scored, and he's going to go to VAR, for God's sake. He scored in the Community Shield. He's just scored on the opening day, theoretically, providing that it's been awarded. The manager on the touchline is going mental. I can assure you I wouldn't be doing that. And yes, it's counted. It is a goal, second goal of the season. I'm not going to pay too much attention as to what's happening in other games at the moment. I mean, there's not really an awful lot of point. We just need to make sure that we go out there, put a good performance in. And uh, I, just want to, I just want to have a look at people, really. Mariano into Garcia. Well, he's only gone and scored another one. Alex Garcia was a player that I, one of the first players we bought. It was big money at the time as well. We got him in from Manchester City. He was on loan. 
there was a bit of a kerfuffle of trying to get him back off loan to sign run blah 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 but yeah he's now coming into his own he was a sporadic player in the first season and in the second season in particular he didn't play it that much but now I, th I think he's going to be a starter for us especially in this formation we could break away here with Ryan Kent Mariano in the middle looking to get into the penalty area balls played across Garcia's there it's a 27 minute hat trick for the former Manchester City youth player and we are tearing newly promoted Norwich apart. They've just had an attack and we've turned it upside down. And all of a sudden we are 3-0 up with plenty of time left on the clock. Ward Prowse gets it out. We are, um, we are, for lack of a better word, crap at maintaining leads though. Um, we go 2 or 3 nil up and then all of a sudden we'll throw it away and we'll end up conceding 2 or 3 and make it really difficult for ourselves. There's Mariano. I think he has an assist to his name, doesn't he? Didn't he assist one of the Garcia goals? I'd have to check that at the end of the game. But, I mean, he's not playing in a natural position right now. He's, he doesn't like to be there. So I'm not too concerned if he doesn't put in a good shift. Uh, Pedro, by the way, isn't on the bench because he's still on international duty with Brazil's under-23s in some sort of South American competition. So... He won't be returning, I don't think, until next week. So it's unlikely he'll play an awful lot of football in the coming weeks anyway. But uh, I would imagine toward January we'll start maybe tying that up. Mariana's free kick straight into Van Leer's hands. I want to give um, Adam Eider as much football as I can as well this season because he's come back from Nottingham Forest. I've stopped him going out on loan. We had offers for him. Here's Pookie in on goal and a great save from Butland. Probably maybe could have caught that, but eh, never mind. Um, yeah, we, we've stopped him from going out on loan again. And I, I kind of I was in two minds about doing it. And I thought, you know what? I'll stop him and we'll try and use him. We're going to need depth going into Champions League, FA Cup, Carabao, Community Shield we had at the beginning. We've got the league, of course, as well. So there's a lot of football to be played. I'm sure he'll get a run out. Uh, Marriott has come to me and said that he's not happy that we've signed Mariano because we've got all these players. It You can't explain to them, you know, Pedro's going. So it's just one of those situations, really. What a crazy challenge that was. Banku brings it forward. And since we've scored that third goal, we've looked second best. Puki plays it out to the wing with Hal Hilovich. And that is a terrible effort and a chance for us to bring on some fresh legs. Thinking maybe Thiago Maia. Uh, but, I mean, maybe I should be looking at the fitness rather than... Yeah, I think Thiago Maia is actually a good shout regardless. Let's uh, bring him on for Deruda, the captain. Shawcross was very unhappy that we stripped him of the captaincy. But, I mean, you can't... He doesn't play. He's, he's literally played 18 times since we've signed him. So what is the point? Stulak in the middle, maybe. Is that a good idea? Yeah, let's do that. And let's just leave it at that for now because we do still have about 25 minutes to play. Anything can happen. Let's tell them to uh, just show some passion, see if we can pick up the form a little bit. Because like I said, since we scored that third goal, we've actually been on the back foot. Here's Capuano. Oh, lovely. I mean, there's no need for it, but whatever. Wolves are beating Everton. Is that significant? I don't know. Meyer on the ball, just knocking it about. Why not? Ball into Berardi, who I can see being one of the first team members this season. He didn't get that much football last season. Here's Stulak on as a sub. That effort was poor. And what a weird highlight that was. Uh, Ten minutes on since the first lot of subs. We'll make our second lot here. And our final. Uh, I mean, Berardi could come off. But who do you bring on instead of him? Because there's no one really who can play that position. Yeah, that's the issue. I don't. I mean, Abdullah Torre isn't fit. So I've sent him off to the under-23s to get some match practice. Uh, I mean, I could change the system, couldn't I? We do have the players on the pitch now to change the system. And we could actually have a look at Mariano in his natural habitat. Um, let's move those two around. There you go. That's much better. And now we can bring on Etebo for Berardi. Uh, do those two like to play in those positions? Nope. Just leave it like that. There you go. Boom. Happy days. Uh, we've gone into a more defensive formation i mean maybe that, that this could be a thing you know even if we are playing against a quote-unquote lesser team uh oh there we go mariano as a poacher in his natural habitat and he scores on his debut and that's all it took was for me to switch him into what he wants to be uh, rather than me forcing him into a position 
But the problem I have is that it just works better to play the more attacking formation against this type of team. Yes, we're away from home, but they're newly promoted. They just don't have the quality to cope with the pressure that we can, you know, apply, essentially. Ball played in. It's a penalty, surely. I don't have penalty takers set up, so I don't know who's going to take it. I'm hoping it's going to be Mariano. It is. Can he dispatch? He can. Of course he can. 5-0 on the opening day. Mariano with two. Garcia with a hat-trick. I am very, very happy with the way that this opening day has gone. Ball cleared. Surely that should be the end of the game now. Pookie bringing it forward. Ball played into the middle. Here's Ward-Prowse. Come on, ref. Just blow the whistle. What are you waiting for? There it is. 5-0 on the opening day. Well, well, well. Um, what did the media say? Uh, I was expecting a close match with Stoke, perhaps to scrape a victory. Does he not know that we finished second uh, last season and we've added to the squad and we've not sold anyone? Uh, I don't think he does. Well, we've just announced ourselves. We are the team to beat this season. We are top of the league. And if the powers, uh, powers that be could just call it there... I'd be happy. Uh, Leeds have had a good start to the season, for those of you who are interested. There's quite a few Leeds fans in the uh, in the comment section. 3-2. They were 3-0 up in that game. Middlesbrough won 5-2 as well. Everton clawed it back late on. But uh, what a fantastic opening day of the season that was. Um, not too bad a performance against Manchester City in the Community Shield. And a very good opening day. And that, my friends, is what the league table looks like after day one. I'm going to obviously play some more games and I will come back uh, probably in a month's time when we hit maybe the end of September or something because uh, I, I don't think there's that many games at the beginning of the season really. You tend to go on an international break quite quite early on. So uh, thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow and until then, goodbye.